Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be updating you guys on my project Use It or Lose It that I introduced you guys back in... Sorry, I totally just kicked the camera and it moved. Um, I introduced you guys to this project back in... In April I think it was the very very end of April and basically these are products that I'm just so fed up with and that are kind of on the old side that I wanted to give them one last chance before I absolutely declutter them and I was gonna declutter a lot of this you know as soon as 2020 ended but you know I think I just wasn't in the right mindset or I thought that Things would be a lot different by now, but considering I feel like we're almost at the same spot when I started this, and who knows if the world, at least in the United States, is going to get any better. Um, I have some updates on some of my choices, but let's go ahead and jump into the products that I had in this project. So the most item that I have in here is the Becca highlighter. I was telling how many times I have used this item just to kind of give me a hindsight on what's worth still trying to use and what isn't. So I've used this for a total of 27 times that I probably used it more but just didn't keep track just because some days I couldn't be bothered on tallying it up. So I'm going to round this up to 30 just to say that I've used that much. So. In, let's see, we had May, June, July, and August. In, that's four, right? May, June, July, August. Four whole months. Technically four and a half. I've had four and a half months and I've only used this as if I've only worn it for one month straight. Now, obviously, I haven't been wearing makeup the whole entire time that this has been going on. Um, I think... Even though like some lifts are lifting in certain areas to go out, I really, really don't go out unless I go to California and I'm with others and like we'll grab a bite to eat or just, you know, do something. But here in Arizona, I don't go out and that's where I am 90% of the time right now. So I have, you know, the fact that I use this for a month, like if I would have used it for a month straight, um, is pretty good. So I'm deciding to keep this in the project, um... Since I didn't get a tan, I can still wear it. Um, I am wearing it today along with other very glowy products. So I'm still going to try to use this, especially, again, I'm not really changing colors. And this is a very stark color, so I can still see myself using it. It's not my favorite, but, you know, it gets the job done. So I'll still work on it. The other thing I have in here is the Stila eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow. To be precise, it is the Magnificent Metal Eyes in Kitten. I've only used this a total of five times, um, and I didn't even go out. But I'm looking at this. I can't tell if that's just like, um, hmm. Actually, I didn't notice that there was like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. There is like some, right here, there is some darkening, which I know in the camera probably looks like it's just the way that the light is reflecting it, but it's just like a different color and it looks like it's hard. It could just be like what this looks like dried out, but now this is kind of sussing me out a little bit. And we know how we feel about our health on this channel. Um, you can't put a price on your health. Like it's not worth trying to use something that looks suspicious. So while I was gonna keep this towards the end of the year, especially as I just got invited to go to Vegas in December, although I don't think I was gonna go before like people start like coming at me, um, I wasn't going to go I didn't think I was going to go because it's the weekend right before finals and that's never a good idea. I was just saying like, oh, you know, if it all works out, like I have something to go with. But actually, um, I'm going to toss this <laughs> because um, I have something else that could kind of replace it. Uh, I'm not going to put it because I'm not ready to throw it out at the end of the year. Yeah, this is quite old, so... Mm better not. More items I am <laughs> decluttering is all of these. Now, you might be saying like, Ray, why are you decluttering those? Like, if anything, now is the time to wear liquid lipsticks because we're all wearing masks. Well, that's very factual. Again, 
I'm not going out anywhere here in Arizona where I am 90% of the time, so if I do go out to wear a mask, like, I'm just going out by myself. It's not like I'm going out to go eat or something. I'm literally just going to the store real quick, so I'm not wearing lipstick underneath. Um, and when I did go out to go out with someone, I wouldn't wear any lip product underneath my mask. The second we sat down to, like, eat somewhere and I could take my mask off, that's when I would apply product and I'm not going to apply liquid lipstick just because that's so much of a hassle and the way that I wear lip liquid lipsticks, like, it's kind of messy, so I can't just do it like, oh, blah, 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 like, and off I go in public, so... Again, I thought the situation was going to be a lot different than it was in back in April. I thought like by now things would have been a lot better, but um, it's not quite. So it, there's just no point for me to try to use these and let all of my good new stuff. I just bought two lipsticks like a month or two ago. Um, just let it sit there for the moments that I do. Like, why am I going to put this on like the one to two times a week that I put something on once when I have all these other like good fun stuff that are newer and fresher um and that are more comfortable to wear because they're not liquid lipsticks why would I pick this over that so it just doesn't make any sense to me these are each like five years old some of them even four and um as much as I love some of the colors I found like decent dupes and you know Sometimes I don't even think about reaching for these, so I don't love the colors like to that extent where I'm like, no, like I'm gonna keep them till the end of the year. Um, so I'm gonna declutter these. I'm gonna tell you how many times I used each of the item. When I was working and I was on Zoom calls all day, basically five times a week, I would reach for these. Um, and I thought I was gonna translate that into like my online classes, but <sighs> considering I'm like one of the only students that ever has their camera on just to be like completely done up and because these are dark like the way that it comes off like on zoom it just feels like I'm putting too much effort and it does feel like it's too much effort when I like put on the liquid lipstick and then I look at myself in the zoom camera and it's like oh you're trying too hard for online class so these are just they're never gonna get used realistically anymore so I'm gonna toss these because they're really old and I probably should have tossed them a while ago. But um, Jeffree Star Gemini, which is probably one of my favorite ones. Um, I used this a total of four times that I marked down. I might have used it one more additional time. It might have been five, but I've only used it five times. Technically four that I have physical proof of um, in four months. Next I have Lolita 2. I only use this a total of three times and this doesn't include swatching because I you know if I would have included swatching then I could have added more tallies but no this is like actual times I wore it on my lips. Again I only wore it three times. I definitely have similar things like obviously not exact dupes but when it's on the lips it's like who could tell really. Um, so goodbye. Double Dare. I think my favorite out of all the liquid lipsticks. I keep saying it, but Double Dare was really, really such a pretty color. I used this a total of five times on record. Again, I think I might have worn it like an extra one to two times. Um, it's just so, so pretty. Even though Kat Von D is not associated with KVD Vegan Beauty anymore, I probably wouldn't purchase it just because liquid lipsticks are too finicky for how I like to wear with lipsticks. So, goodbye. Then I have Mother. Um, which is a very cool toned pink. Uh, this was definitely my style when I bought it, but it's definitely not what I reach for anymore. Very particular when it comes to pinks. Like, I don't know what it is. It has to be like the perfect shade. And as of right now, I think I only have one perfect true pink and it's not mother. <laughs> but I do, I was obsessed with this color when I first bought it. But now that I look at it, I'm just like, it's just not me anymore. It's not 2015, 2016 Renee. Um, I am going to be including one thing just because I kind of forgot that I had this or that I, I knew that I had this. I don't know why, just like, probably because it's darker. This is my IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Medium. Um, I never wear medium on its own. Usually when I get tans in the summer, I will mix this with my other foundations. 
um, just to darken them up and that's kind of what I've started to do I've used this like a total of six times before this video but I had already planned to include this um, the expiration date on this for the SPF was March of 2020 um, I believe I did purchase this either end of 2018 or beginning of 2019 it's two years old I haven't decided if I'm going to declutter it at the end of the year or just keep working through it I know that I can use this for other things like natural contouring um, I could still mix it in especially because I did get a slight tan I'm not wearing it today which is why I feel like my face looks quite pale but I did get a little bit of a tan when I was out in California and so when I put makeup on and I use this it just looks seamlessly one color than like a much lighter of a face <laughs> color than the rest of my body so I started using this and I really like it um, because it's two years old and by the end of 2020 it's gonna be like two and a half I haven't I don't know I know what this looks like when it's like bad bad like what it looks like when you're applying it and it's not that yet so I don't know it's just a lot of product and I know I won't finish this but I want to at least try to get as much product out of this. Um, so technically, as of right now, I only have two products in this use it or lose it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to add anything else. I feel like I'm working on too many makeup items in my life, trying to use them up for the situation of the world. <laughs> so it just doesn't make sense to like add like so many, like trying to work on so many things when like it's just unrealistic based on how my life is right now which is a little sucky because I love watching these videos I know you guys like watching these videos but it's just it is what it is um I've also lately feel very cluttered I don't know if it's because the lack of going out is finally hitting me I know a lot of, it hit like a lot of people back like at the beginning of quarantine about like they just don't like being like inside because it's like they're just like enclosed I feel like what people went through back in like April and May are finally starting to hit me now because I don't know like people in Arizona like it's just my family I'm just in the house so it's finally starting to get to me to the point where I just feel cluttered by everything like I feel like there's too much stuff everywhere and I want to like just get rid of everything um, but I also want to buy a lot of things and it's a weird weird like feeling slash situation I'm in I don't know um, so I, I don't know like I don't want to like declutter stuff because I know I can use it up and I want to get my money's worth but then at the same time like I know I would feel free but then it's like okay like you don't have the money to go repurchase it when it time when the time comes so just keep it so it's an interesting like back and forth that I'm going through with myself but that is my update um if you guys are doing your own projects please let me know like how you're doing it like are you actually using your products or like are you being more relaxed or are you still like holding yourself to the same standard that you would if the world was normal <laughs> Um, please let me know. I'd love to know. I'm trying to find different ways to use products, but then it takes the jobs of like other products. So yeah, that's my life right now. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great rest of your day and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.